Hey all, how's it going? I uh, recently, I don't know what happened to my Saturn iron, but I can't find it. I must have left it on a job somewhere, so I had to get a new one. And I figured let me uh, try out one of these Saturn iron kits, and look what I got. Saturn iron kit. Straight off Amazon, of course. I don't know, I forget what this cost me. Maybe, uh... 15 bucks, I'm thinking. Somewhere like that. Come in this nice as a black bag. Never seen something packaged like this, but you know what? They must have hand put this together because that's how else would you put a package like this together, right? You throw a sticker on it. This is like a small, uh, I don't know. Like a little gun case or something, right? Anyway, it's got four latches on it. Two on the sides, which is nice. Two in the front. And let's see what's inside. Alright, so inside has got some, I'll call that half inch foam. That's nice. Make everything, uh, you can just throw anything you want in here, right? Comes with this, uh, Shrink tubing set. Looks like instead of having them all bunched together, it looks like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven individual Ziploc bags inside with shrink tubings in them. All various sizes. Looks like from about quarter inch, maybe even a little bigger than quarter inch, maybe three eighths, all the way down to one eighth. Nice little setup. Everything's already pre cut. Alright, if you need smaller, you can cut them smaller, but you never need longer than that. Alright, that's not bad. It's probably about a, uh, I don't know, 150 piece set, maybe. Okay, second, let's see what else we got here. We got our little soldering iron stand with our little wiper here. You put water on that sponge so you could wipe your tip off. Not bad. It's not cheap, it's, ha it's got a little weight to it, not bad, now mind you, this is the first time opening this kit, so, alright, it said they gave you two little uh, things of wire, now this wire, I'll say it's uh, pretty crappy, must be like 18 gauge or 22 gauge wire, it's almost like as thin as foam wire. Pretty crappy, but at least you got something, right? And we got a five-piece set of tips for the soldering iron, not including the ones on here, one that's on there already. So that, that's decent. Looks like they screw right on. Again, another little zip bag, zip lock, and this is a heavy duty. It ain't just like a little drug bag. This is actually a little tool bag. And moving on, we got a little wire stripper here. Look at that, and, and, a, and a punch down tool. You know what that is, right? That's when you're punching all those wires into the uh, foam block with the thing sticking up. That's what that's for. And we can strip wires on here, just like that. It's a neat little tool. Nothing special, but at least you have it in your kit. You gotta bring a knife. We got a nice little pair of tweezers. ESD 15. Now these ain't the made in Germany ones like I've seen in my other kits, but they are an exact copy. And the points are very pointy. Ow! The points are very pointy. No wonder they put this on here. I mean that pokes poked me like a hypodermic needle. Alright, we got a nice little tube of uh solder here with a clip for your pocket. Nice little hole in the front for the solder to come out. I'm guessing this is a uh, regular solder but it does look uh, pretty decent. Nice. Next we have the desoldering tool. Let's see. So I guess you get the Heat it up, heat up the solder, 
and then you put this on there and suck it suck it up before it could dry. How do you do that? Press the button. Watch this. Get the soldering. Suck it up. Press the button. It sucks it right out. Now that's a nice little uh, trigger device there, huh? Well, you can use that for a zip gun. And then I guess you take it apart in the front to clean it out. I don't know. I never really used one of these. I always use uh, the wicking, the wicking uh, things. You know, the little copper braided copper things. You get it, Radio Shack. Is Radio Shack open anymore? I don't know. I haven't been to one in years. All right. And last but not least, we have our soldering iron. Let's see. It says. 110 volts, 60 watts. Not bad. It has an adjustable thing here. I can't quite make out the numbers on there. Just can't make them out. Maybe, maybe if this will come clear on the video, I might be able to see what it says on there. Anyway, this is look looks like a decent soldering iron. I like that it's thin. I like that it's thin. The wire is thin, but it's uh, flexible. Let's see what kind of wire they used on me. 7.5, 0 0.75 millimeter. I guess that's the wire size and chinesium. Sinofair. Sinofair wire. Okay. Well, that's it. I just wanted to look at the contents of this uh, solder and iron kit to see what we all got. I'm sure the solder and iron is going to work. I'm not going to plug it in right this minute. But yeah. I think it goes from uh, four, I think this has degrees on it. That's 400 degrees there, I think. Celsius? I don't know. i got to get the magnifying glass out just to see what that is. Let me see. I know we got a magnifier out here somewhere. <coughs> My eyes are going bad. Alright, let's see what it is. Alright, it has, has temperatures on it. From 200 to 450 degrees and has a C in the middle so I'm thinking that's Celsius yeah it must be Celsius so it goes up from uh, 200 to 450 degrees Celsius which is quite a bit different than Fahrenheit With Celsius zero is the freezing point if I'm not mistaken. So zero is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Zero degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So that will make 200 degrees Celsius, 232 degrees Fahrenheit. So it should make this go up to almost, uh, what is it, 400? 450 plus 32. So this will go up to 480 degrees. 82 degrees Fahrenheit. And there you have it. That's the solder and iron kit from Amazon. Like I said, everything looks nice. It's packaged up nice. Everything's in Ziplocs. The desoldering tool, I never had one of these, so I don't know how much use I'll get out of it, but I'm definitely going to try it because, you know, I've had desoldering jobs where it just takes too long to wick it out with the wicking thing. But I like this. I'm glad I got the kit instead of just a soldering iron. Because now I can just have to keep all this shit in here. And not have to worry about my other stuff. And I can forget about my lost siren iron, yeah. The tweezers, they're nice. But, uh, yeah, too pointy. This is nice. I like having this kit. The only thing I need in here right now is a torch. To help melt things. 
I wonder if my torch will fit in there. I know my pencil torch will. That must be an idea. Right? Anyway. Anyway, if you have problems with these, <coughs> it does come with a nice S strap here, but to close these nicely, you push, instead of pushing here, you push up top here. See? See? If you, if you try to push down here, it'll go on, but it won't go on as easy as when you do this. Especially if you're having a hard time pushing it that way. Just push it up from up top. That's it. A soldering iron kit new, made in China. Of course. Where else would it be made? Alright guys. That's a look at what's inside the soldering iron kit that I'm going to link to from Amazon. Basically just a bunch of soldering iron kit stuffed into a box. And I don't mind that because I don't want no molded crap. I like this. You can just pile shit in there. Flip it on to the other side, anything you're not using, and voila. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Eh? Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next one. Thank you.